ran into another issue. No door locks. This headliner is annoying. I can't wait to fix that. Um, so, I'm in the car. Um, last couple of episodes. Um, we've been troubleshooting some stuff and uh, uh, worked a little bit on the engine and uh, now uh, I went to go try and get my the key fob, the remote to work and it didn't work so went ahead and changed out the batteries now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's probably too bright but when you show it up in the camera you can't actually see the light lighting so I know the remote is working or at least sending the signal so the next thing was, all right, so I got in the car, I tried to resync it, which essentially is you point it at the car, click twice, then within 30 seconds you put it to position two. All right, okay, done. And that's actually what it says in the manual. However, when I did that, I did it a couple times, still no work. So then I said, you know what, let me, uh, let me try and lock it from inside. And sure enough, when I press the little lock button, nothing. Also, trunk button release doesn't work either. So, I'm hoping that it's just a fuse. And that's what we're going to check first. Um, it is a air system. So, uh, basically there's an air pump in the back called PSE which is a power something something I don't know but uh, on the forums it was saying uh, check to make sure the foam is not wet because if these things get wet apparently they start failing um, and then you have to buy a new one I don't know if you can rebuild it. Um, the one of the other indications was the dome lights but the dome lights appear to be working one of them is kind of iffy um, but I uh, I don't know so we're gonna check the fuses and there's a bunch of fuses um, as I'm doing it I'll go ahead and, and, and put a picture of the fuse box so you can see but the central locking system is like five or six fuses so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna see if I can find my multimeter and we'll go ahead and check them and then we'll go from there and if that's if it's a fuse, great. We'll replace the fuse. I've got a bunch of different kinds, a bunch of different uh, valued fuses. I've got 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30s. So hopefully it's none of those. Um, there is two fuse boxes in here. There's one right by the driver's side door, and then there's also the one in the front, which I uh, gave you a quick look at during the intro video, which is the K40 uh, board, which also has some fuses on it. That's the main board. This one here is... Secondary fuse box. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, got the multimeter. That works. Apparently the example one that I had is not for this car, so that sucks. Brake lamp, right beam, high beam, reverse lamp, turn signal, control parking aid, left, right, right parking. Huh. I wonder if there's another fuse box in here. Thus we move on. All right, well, after reading the manual, this one is for the lights, which we just found out. Oh, and if you're wondering, all this stuff is, I've got a thermostat, I've got oil change stuff, headlight stuff, hydraulic uh, repair kit for the Rams, um, hydraulic oil, which I think is outside. So I've got a ton of stuff 
uh, to do all sorts of stuff with this car. So I'm going to do a little at a time. I am not getting anything across that 40 amp one. And I'm not even sure what that is. So I'm going to have to do a little research and figure out all the other one, all the other little ones, they all work fine. So I guess back to the drawing board. Let's see what I can find out. Well, as you know, like I said, I don't really know this car. And here's another thing I discovered. There's another fuse box. It is on the driver's side, right next to the brake booster. So very interesting. And then as I was reading, I also found out there is a uh, PSC fuse box or, or a fuse box in the trunk that that also helps with that so it could be one of those fuses as well so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go ahead and test all these I'm gonna set the camera up back it's gonna be tougher for, for uh, uh, you to really see what I'm testing when but uh, luckily all the stuff is here so I can go ahead and look at that and then hopefully we can find I'm hoping fuse 26 which says central locking is the one that's blown. So I'm going to start with that one. All right, let's see what I get. is the cigarette lighter and glove compartment light which I kind of figured since the wires are sticking out in the, in the center console so that's not it um, 24 We're good yeah so all of these appear to be good so I guess we will head to the trunk and see if all those check out stuff is I, I there is a uh, a disc changer that was in here I'm guessing this is where the uh, the jack bolts up to uh, there was a disc changer in here I she said it doesn't work so uh, what we will do is uh, must be for the shock we will uh, see if we can fix that that's not high on my priority list but I had one before so I, I'm, I'm familiar with the way they work so let me go ahead and figure out how or where we're going to find the uh, fuse box and the PSE. I believe it's in here somewhere. And uh, let me look that up. We might have to take this the interior panels out of here. So let's see if we can do that.
here's what I'm looking at now for the locking issue. This is apparently the PSE, the pneumatic pump. And it's mounted upside down, which from what I read is the way you want it. It doesn't look like it's had any water in there. But they recommend you take it apart and clean the uh, contacts and stuff. So that's what we'll do. We'll try that. All right, so a little update. So first of all, there's the PSE. I, I took it apart. I didn't film it. I was in the because I was having to look stuff up on the phone that I filmed with. Um, but I took it apart, cleaned all the contacts, plugged it all back in. And what I would hear is um, I would press the unlock button and I'd hear a bzzz, like a little sound. So I know that, that it was at least engaging. So upon reading some more stuff, I kept seeing the same thing. Uh, uh, Fuse 9, I replaced it and everything looks good. So here's Fuse 9 right here. Now, these are the spare ones right here. So what I did was, on a hunch, even though it tested good, I went at th uh, this one was actually one of the spares. I went ahead and swapped them, even though it did. I did get a sink. And... Lo and behold, after I resync the key, which is basically pointing it at the mirror uh, twice and then putting it in the lock and letting it sit there, check this out. You ready? Look at that. Oh, sorry. Head upside down. Ready? Look at that. It locks and unlocks and the lights go. So... That's for silly. So there you go. We uh, we have lock and unlock. It wasn't the PSE or the pneumatic pump, which basically pumps air to the system. Um, and it did end up being a fuse. So that goes to show you, you know, even if they check out good, sometimes you still got to swap them out. Could be a number of things. So um, lesson learned. I ended up blowing a couple hours on this, but uh, I did also replace the batteries in this. Um, uh, the reason I wanted to make sure this works is because I haven't locked the door since I bought it. And unfortunately, there's a key, the, the end of an older key, stuck in the door. That's going to be another thing i got to get out. Um, once I get out, then this will lock and unlock the door. Um, and i still got to go pick up the key fob from the previous owner. So. But I was able to mate it with it, so now I can lock and unlock. So it's one less thing I got to worry about. Um, yeah, a little bit of sweat, a little bit of tears. We got it done. Um, I didn't glove up this time because I was messing with fuses, and it's a lot easier to do them without a glove. But make sure when you work on your car and you do maintenance stuff or whatever that you do glove up and effing do it. Click the subscribe button and thanks for watching.